This Nintendo hacker got thrown in jail three years ago because of Nintendo, and he just got out today. But there's a catch. The man has to pay Nintendo 25 to 30% of his income for the rest of his life, on top of the 10 mil he owes for damages. Which is crazy. So far, Gary Bowser paid off just $175, and let me just say, he has a long way to go. The 51-year-old originally got jailed because of his heavy involvement with Team Executor, a business that allowed people to pirate Switch games and hack their consoles through his service. So it's pretty understandable why Nintendo is after this man even after he's been in jail for three years but they are not letting him off that easy i think they're being a little bit too harsh they were like oh you got a jail bill not enough you still owe us money he got off mostly due to good behavior with the bill like i just mentioned before so he's on his way to return to canada very soon because that's where he lives he was at the dominican republic when they apprehended him then he got jailed in the united states but the way i see it this man is still locked up i mean he has to spend the rest of his time on earth paying nintendo as much as his mortgage or auto loan like they don't even care where he gets his money from now he could be working at mcdonald's they still want him to give them 25 percent of whatever money he has every month all because of the damages he's caused pirating nintendo's games and creating this online service that allowed other switch users to do the same and that's why they want 25 percent on top of the 10 mil in damages i'm pretty sure they lost a lot of good money that they could have earned if those customers of his actually bought nintendo's products instead of illegally getting copies of them 10 mil is probably the charge for him being involved in this company and then the 25 percent to 30 percent charge is basically the damages he's caused so now you guys understand why he was jailed for three years so he basically committed a crime and a lot of people are against nintendo people think that they're taking it a bit too far because let's be honest there's no way a 51 year old man could pay this absurd amount of money like we all know there's no way he's gonna be able to pay this whole thing off with the rest of his time he has on earth and the fact that he lost his only source of income and i hope nintendo doesn't screw over the family by making them pay for the 10 mil after he's gone that's gonna be so messed up 10 mil is pretty crazy like i'm pretty sure my family tree has never even earned at all together 10 million nintendo is just straight up does not care they did this mostly to use bowser as an example to send a message to nintendo hackers and people who pirate their games that this is a very significant moment for us it's the purchase of video games that sustains nintendo and nintendo ecosystem and it is the games that make the people smile it's for that reason that we do all we can to prevent games on nintendo systems from being stolen and that's pretty much why they're being so harsh on this man he committed a crime you basically stole their product but this is some crazy crazy stuff man apparently gary was the salesperson for the hacking group team executor 2 and ran their website max console the man was making about 500 to a thousand per month from the operations even though the team allegedly made millions of dollars and bowser is believed to have made more than 320k in seven years that he worked in this organization seems like he made less than his entire group but nintendo's more after him for some reason i hope it was worth it man because now all that bread is just going to go into mario's pockets his entire life savings is going into nintendo to probably fund a single act for the second Mario movie. Gary's basically paying someone else's salary over at Nintendo. And like I said, I think it's a bit harsh coming from Nintendo. Like I know they're doing this to scare other hackers because they don't want it to happen again. Like they did already jail the man. They took away three years of his life. They're charging him 10 mil that he has to pay off and then taking 30% of whatever he's going to make. They basically made it impossible for him to live or even pay off the 10 mil charge. The man could work at McDonald's and he's still going to have to pay them 30%, which is crazy. He's not going to have money for anything nintendo does not play man all these years of people joking about how serious this giant company takes their products and look what just happened this is the very reason people choose not to stream or even make content on nintendo games because they're scared just recently some guy came out with a mod for breath of the wild that allowed people to play multiplayer on the game and nintendo has just been slamming his entire channel taking down his videos copyright striking and almost getting him terminated too mods shouldn't be a big issue but in this case he did break the law that youtubers are completely different side of the coin just don't pirate games man you are after all stealing from other people's hard work so it's wrong but i don't know i think the jail time in america and the 10 mil charge was enough the 30 percent is going to make it impossible for the man to get back on his feet and i think nintendo is just throwing punches at this man over and over i would have just been on the floor pleading for my life like i'm sorry it won't happen again <laughs> this is by far the worst case i've seen out of anything involving nintendo i've heard other cases of people getting sued for jailbreaking nintendo consoles and playing emulators or even running roam websites but the fact that you can actually go to jail now for something like this is just scaring hackers i wouldn't be surprised if all these extra websites just go missing out of nowhere just because of this situation that's blown up but in this case these guys were literally distributing a service to jailbreak your switch so that's a very big problem i mean that's the latest console that's out of course they're gonna be mad if it's something like the gamecube they kind of don't care so it makes sense why they're harsh on him but then again they're not being as harsh as to everyone else on the team yes they apprehended everyone else all around the world actually they got gary 
Gary Bowser in Dominican Republic, and then the rest of his team from all around the world, China, Italy, etc. They tried to hide, but Nintendo found them, bro. Don't mess with the corpos. But I still feel like there was other big people behind this operation who haven't been charged yet. It seems like only Gary is taking all the heat for this whole thing. Maybe he's just trying to cover for his homies, who knows? But I still feel bad for this man. I don't know. I, in the end, it's his fault. He did a crime, so he has to do the time. But still, the 30% is a bit obsessive. The 10 mil was fine enough. Like, there's no way he's gonna be able to live with, like, a simple job at Costco's or something. He's got rent, food, phone, car payments, and then this. I don't even know if his family can help him. No way he's gonna have money for anything anymore. And from what I've heard, he blew all his money he earned doing this. He hasn't saved a single penny. So rip to this guy. Let this be a lesson, guys. Don't pirate games. Or then you're just gonna have to end up paying a company the little bit of money you have for the rest of your life. Pretty much it. Just went to talk on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Stay blue.